Welcome to page nine of your transformation packet. Today, we will be completing a combination of moves. Let's take a look at problem number one. Up above it states, complete the following combination transformations. Translate, which of course is the slide, translate the image seven units to the right, so our X will experience the change, and reflect, which is your flip, the image over the X axis. Well, when we flip it over the X axis, which happens to be this axis right here, our Y will be experiencing the change. Let's begin. Make sure you're taking down all the notes as we work through the problem. Remember, at the bottom of the page it states, describe the change to point A. Ultimately, we would like to see how point A changes as we work through the problem. Let's start with our original triangle. Point A is located at negative three, zero. Point B is located at negative 10, zero. And point C is located at negative 10, five. For our first transformation, we would like to slide the image seven units to the right, moving it that way. Our X coordinates will experience a gain of seven. Negative three, negative 10, and negative 10 will all experience an increase of seven. If you'd like to complete the transformation on the coordinate plane, you could take each point and move it seven to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The new C prime will be located here. Or if you'd like to do it off to the side, and calculate the new A prime, B prime, and C prime, you can just add seven to each of those X coordinates. Take a moment and complete the first transformation. Make sure and pause your video at this point in time. You should have gotten A prime as four, zero, B prime, negative three, comma, zero, and C prime, negative three, comma, five. Our next step is to reflect or flip over the X axis. Remember, when we reflect over the X axis, our Y coordinates will change to the opposite. So let's list all of our coordinates. A prime is four, zero. B prime is negative three, zero. And C prime, negative three, five. Circle all the Y coordinates those Y coordinates will flip to their opposite. Let's get to work. Off to the side, A double prime, well, it's still four zero. B double prime, negative three zero. And C double prime, well, that positive five 
it flips to its opposite and becomes a negative 5. On the coordinate plane, we can see that B prime becomes B double prime. It's in exactly the same spot as before. A prime becomes A double prime. It's in the same spot. But C prime, as we reflect that over this X axis, we see it lands here at th negative 3, negative 5. And that's C double prime. It is reflected over the X axis. Now let's answer the question below. Rather than looking at the change in A, we're going to take a look at the change in point C. C starts out as negative 10, comma 5. After our first transformation, C prime is now negative 3, 5. And after our second transformation, C double prime is negative 3, negative 5. How did our x and y coordinates change? Well, specifically, when we slid the image to the right 7 units, we took our x coordinate and we experienced a gain of 7. Negative 10 becomes negative 3. When we completed our second transformation, our positive 5 changed to its opposite, becoming a negative 5 as we reflected over the x-axis. Pause the video, take a moment, and copy down these notes. Now that you're done taking down some basic notes, we're going to describe how point C was changed. Use your notes off to the side and write a few sentences to best describe how C changes. When you're ready, turn the video back on and compare your written response to the answer key. Your response should sound a bit like this. First, slide point C seven units to the right by adding seven to the X coordinate. C, which is negative 10, five, becomes C prime, negative three, five. <clears throat> Next, Reflect C prime over the X axis by changing the X coordinate to its opposite. C prime, negative 3, 5, becomes C double prime, negative 3, negative 5. Turn the page and let's go on.